Hello, my name is Eric, and this is my story. I didn't grow up in a home that worshipped the Lord. I didn't go to church, and the only time I would hear the word God, it was used as a curse word. But even in these circumstances, I always knew there was a God. I always felt like there was somebody looking out for me, reaching out to me. Like most of today's society, I ignored these feelings, and I chose to live my life my way. There are a couple times as a child where I rightfully should have died but did not. Now I know that his divine intervention had a plan for me. One instance, I was riding my bicycle down a steep hill and I hit a patch of mud. I lost control and went over the edge of a cliff that dropped far down to a rocky creek bed. I blacked out as I went over the edge, and when I regained consciousness, I was draped over a tree that was sticking out of the side of the cliff. My bicycle lied in the creek bed, broken in half. The other time, I was playing hide-and-seek with some friends and went to hide behind a house. I leaned against a fence, not knowing that this fence was merely propped against a tree. I fell over the side of the cliff. This cliff dropped drastically to a valley of fallen trees. Again, I blacked out when I went over the edge, and when I regained consciousness, I was hanging onto a root a couple of feet below the ledge of the cliff. I began to cry for help. My friend's father ran behind the house and reached down and pulled me to safety. These things are not coincidence or chance. My mother had gone through several abusive relationships when I was growing up, resulting in many moves. Once we moved to Chicago into a very bad part of town, a place where I would routinely witness beatings and murders. We lived in a rundown one-bedroom apartment. To prevent the cockroaches from crawling on me, I would sleep in a bathtub. I would stand in the Salvation Army line once a week to get a box of food so I could survive. My mother wasn't usually around due to her addictions. God provided a family down the hall that would look out for me and give me a hot meal from time to time. As the time went by, I grew very angry and I knew I wasn't going to make it out of there. I had to make a change. I gambled on a street corner until I had enough money to buy a bus ticket to go live in my grandmother, Kentucky. I left and she took me in for over three years. During this time, I rarely heard from my mother. As the years went by, I grew angrier and believed that I was on my own. Went to high school and got involved in athletics. One of my coaches looked out for me and guided me through those years. He was a good man, and the most important thing I learned from him was that he lived his life for his Savior, Jesus Christ. But I continued to ignore the call. I joined the Navy after a brief stint in college. Had a good career going, got married. Things were looking up for me. I had made it or so I thought. As the years went by, my anger grew larger. I was angry at work, angry at home, angry all the time. Nothing made me happy. I started drinking a lot. I strayed more. I was looking for happiness in all the wrong places. In 2007, my wife and I separated after things had gotten dangerous. At one tense moment, a voice inside my head told me that I needed to leave or I was gonna do something I would regret for the rest of my life. I left home and went through some very trying times. I was financially broken and still angry. I was sleeping in my car routinely. I was in a park one day, all alone, and the Lord spoke to me. I dropped to my knees and asked Jesus to come into my life. I stopped ignoring the call that had been there my whole life. Since the day I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Savior, I was not angry anymore. I am truly happy in all aspects of my life. God has blessed me with a wonderful wife and wonderful children. I did not get baptized after being saved. I knew the Lord would let me know when the time and place was right. We moved to San Diego and found a church home there. The first service I attended was a day that changed my life forever, a day I'll never forget. The message was powerful and people made me feel welcome right away. The worship team came to the stage and sang a song that was very powerful. Three life-changing events all occurred during that one song. First, I knew we had found our church home in San Diego. I knew that this is where I was going to be baptized. And three, I knew the Lord was calling me to the worship ministry. I was baptized the following Easter Sunday in 2012. The Lord is always reaching out to us. We must stop ignoring this feeling and accept Him as our Savior. I am here today by the grace of God. He has a plan for me. He has a plan.